how you do? Goddess Lily. Well, as you can see from the title of this video, this is my first, this is the first look of the lace frontal that I've been making on the pre-made wig cap. So, and essentially this is a pre-made wig cap wig. And I am going to be offering this type of wig from going forward. So, um, <clears throat> As you know, the frontal is only two inches. So I was in such a hurry to finish and make this that I didn't want to finish ventilating the other four inches. So it's a two inch frontal, as you've seen before. So I'm gonna let you see the top first. You can probably kind of tell where, you know, the ventilating stops. Well, I don't know if you can or not, but I just wanna give you a you know, a, a, a picture of what it looks like at the top. And I wanna give you a close up picture of what a finished hairline looks like. This is a finished hairline wig and I'm also, all my wigs are gonna be, have a finished hairline. But I'm gonna give you the option of having your closures. I'm gonna ask you, you know, when you order a closure for me, if you want a finished hairline or a raw hairline. Of course, a raw hairline, the lace is not cut because you wanna glue it down. So finished hairline looks like this. So I'm gonna zoom the camera up and we'll talk about what a finished hairline looks like. So. I have my baby hair gel down, and this is what a finished hairline looks like. That little metal thing is the comb. So I'm gonna actually take it off so you can see the inside too. So that is what a finished hairline looks like. Let's go even closer. Lace is tucked under and hand sewn across and it's ventilated all the way across the edge. So you really can't complete the finished hairline until you finish your front out. So of course the sides are, you know, four to five so you can probably see the knots. But this is a finished hairline. So this is a wig. Okay, now you can probably see a little more. The ventilating stops here. It's just a two inch. No, I think the ventilating stops here. Somewhere. It's a two inch frontal. So now you know that my hair is all the way in. So let's zoom it back. Sorry about that. So because I'm not a fan of this type of swoop hairstyle, but my husband will probably love it. This is the back. And uh, I'm just looking in my mirror too. So this is the length. This is the Brazilian hair that I ordered off of eBay. I dyed it my perfect color. And of course, I don't bleach my knots but I am now bleaching the knots. I'm working on a frontal and I just bleached another section of hair and these are what the knots came out. Very, very pretty. So the frontal was actually in the back <laughs> and um, these are just laying here drying. So what was I going to say? I, you know, dyed it and then once it's totally dyed, I, before I cut the hair off the track, I go ahead and do like, to say the track is here, I do like two inches up dark brown. And it's weird because the hair is black. This hair, and I, it's, it's black. So what I have to do is, and I don't like black, I like it to look a little dark brown. So I have to dye it all, you know, bleach it all to turn to light brown or brown, this color. And then, um, some I leave on a little longer so I can have the, you know, streaks. And then I have to rinse it, let it dry. <laughs> and then I dye the, about two inches dark brown and I go and ventilate it. So um, I was going to kind of show you how I like to wear it. 
but that's going to involve taking it off and I'm going to take it off and put it back on. So you can see the inside there. Ah, here is the inside. Good. Let me cover up my face. <laughs> so two inch frontal can see how the edge is fold it over. Let's get even closer. So I have combs stuck inside, which is not a good idea because they still kind of show and they hurt. So I actually bought some Velcro and I'm going to I'll get up and get it in a minute. So this is the drawstring. So you can tell I have it all drawstringed in. So I can't put it on with the drawstring. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the drawstrings. And retighten it. So how I like to wear mine, I like to take my edge. Let me do it in my mirror. And... I like to cover up the edge. So I, when I braid my hair, my hair is newly braided. My edges is newly permed. So I just leave this little line out. I put my stocking cap right to the edge. And then I'll put the wig on. So I don't throw it forward and put it on backwards like that. I just go to the back like that, nice and prissy. So I'm gonna put it on in the mirror. But I totally get why you guys throw it back so all the hair won't, you know, be all in the face. So, So I have combs here. I only have two combs. And I realized that if I put combs in the back, I mean with the elastic I don't need the combs in the back. But uh, So when I braid my hair, I use this Pump It Up hairspray and I, I just really spray and then I put the blow dryer to my um, braid so my braid stays tight for at least a week before it starts loosening up. So I'm trying to find the straps. Okay, found one. And I, the only problem I have with this wig is this little flap hanging down at the bottom. So it's tight. So So, you can see my little hair sticking out, but it's not going to always look like that because I keep my blow dryer. So what I like to do is stand it up like that, spray, make sure it's a couple spray, this is hairspray, and I take my comb like that and then I just blow dry it and then I start bringing it forward so it can fall forward so it kind of looks like that then I'll just take my little brush and just kind of loosen it up a little So it can kind of, you know, loosen up. Not that much, but just, let me do it in the mirror. So, and I'll pull the camera up so you can see it. Then I'll put some more gel on my edges. It's kind 
of sticking up a little too much. I think you guys kind of get what I'm trying to do. But let me zoom the camera up so you can, you know, I see a little opening there. <laughs> there. Okay, well, you know, it would be perfect if I wasn't doing it on the camera, but you can see how you can cover up the edge. So you can do it two or three ways if you wear it, oh, put this camera back, if you wear it like, you know, swoop down, just put it on and gel your edges down, you don't leave any hair out, that'll still work, but it wouldn't work with a two inch lace front like this. It will only work with a four inch, but I'm still going to offer a two inch because I'm trying to stay affordable. So. The prices are basically going to stay the same. I have two, three, four, I think. I think I have, I think I have 400 for the two inch, uh, or 375 for the two inch, 425, or 450 for the three inch, and 500 for the four inch. I'm not sure what I have on the blog. But the reason why I could do this two inch, because I like to wear these combs. So let me swing the camera around. So you see my combs right here? All these thingy thingies. These are kind of like pretty cl hair clips that I like to wear right at the tip. Did you see all my necklaces? Hi. Hung all my necklaces on the wall. Let's see. There. I don't know if you can see. But anyway. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, let me zoom back out. Okay, so, anyway. You'll kind of see from now on when I make videos how I like to wear it. I like to kind of just... I can't do it, but I like to swoop it up with like a pretty clip up here. You're looking at my ass, huh? I like to swoop it up with like a little clip. This is too big. <laughs> That's too big, but this is how I like to wear it. I call it my Pam Anderson sexy look because she's out of the limelight now, but that was my girl, Pamela Anderson. Okay, so this, there you have it. This is the first look of my lace front wig with a finished edge, finished hairline on a pre-made wig, wig cap. Hope you like it. Looking forward to hear your comments. And I also um, posted photos on the blog. So if you click on the blog link, it will take you directly to the blog. All right, thank you for watching.